Hello everyone, welcome again to another ACC track guide. I'm Michael, and uh, for today with the with the Mercedes, we're going to Monza. So yeah, as the previous uh, track guides, I'm using the aggressive setup with some tweaks here and there. But yeah, basically that setup, it's it's gonna be nice, I think. So yeah, let's begin. So heading into the first chicane. You have to break a few meters, maybe two meters after the, the 150s. Heavy braking, make sure you don't, you go like this. You know what I mean? It's like never touch the, the, the sausage at the inside. And now here, just, did you see that? Um, I tapped the, the, the brakes a little bit, so the car rotates. And now I try to go full throttle here, and that's it. That's the, the first chicane. And now a pretty long straight. Or, well, actually a turn, but... <laughs> you know what I mean. Now, heading to the second chicane. Just break exactly at this point. Exactly here. And you will always get right the entry. So what you want to do here is um, make the car rotate here. So as you can see here, I'm starting to apply throttle. And uh, the best thing that you can do or the best possible way is uh, to, to make this chicane right is to go full throttle at this point without touching the gravel or actually without touching the, 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 the sausage curve uh, on the inside and also at the exit without touching the gravel. If you can do this going full throttle, that's that's okay. That's pretty, very good. And now here, you don't... Actually, you don't have any braking reference. Maybe you can use this point here, but I know for me, it's, it is too far away. So I just do it by what I can see, you know, the, the, the distance that, that I can measure. So, uh, you try to go, try to get a pretty good exit here. That's going to be crucial. You can gain a lot of time if you do this. Now, use all the tracks available here on the left-hand side. And now, on this turn, this is pretty much easy to get the, the, the breaking point because um, it's right on the 50s. But obviously, if you get it to, you know, if you, if you get a pretty slow exit on the previous turn you your breaking point is gonna be a little bit ahead so uh here don't go too too much on the inside you don't want to to touch this curve now here full 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 stop at this point using all the track available now on this turn again you can use this as a breaking point now heavy braking and uh, try not to go too much on the inside on, on, on this first apex. And now here, again, don't touch the, the this sausage curve on the inside. I mean, this was quite tricky to get to get Ascari right. But I think this was my best attempt. Now, um, at this point, you should be going full throttle, even here. Be really careful with the slight bump you may get and now here you can you can do this almost touching the gravel and that's it and now heading to the final turn the parabolica um break probably at 70 meters heavy braking again what I do here is just aim into the inside as soon as I can. I stay on the inside and then at this point, um, I know probably two cars length before the curve ends, I start going full throttle. And uh, if you want to finish a good lap here, try to stay on the inside always, um, just before the, the finish line. And that's it. That's a lap around Monza. I hope this can helpful. This can be helpful. Sorry. I hope this can be helpful to you. 
Um, now you're, you're gonna watch the, the replay and uh, make sure you, you pay attention to the telemetry. So yeah guys that's all for today i hope you like it i hope this can be helpful to you if you like it hit the like button hit the subscribe button and uh yeah see you next time